my friend Efron that I used to work for, Efrain, um, he did a report with classic David Men- a classic David Menzies report out of Canada. And he says a transitioning biological man is playing women's rugby league and reports say he's injuring females with his tackles. Um, so there is an article of the Toronto Sun establishment conservative newspaper in Toronto a month ago that talked about this guy. Um, some women complained in the league because it's a man and you'll see he's very much just an out of shape man and large, larger than the women. And, they went to visit them. It's about an hour and a half where I live. I'm. Th- I would like us after this to um, pledge to the league to let us join in a recruitment video, so that we can send it to the America. That's what we're going to do after that. I've decided. But let's watch the video here. Of the, it's a minute teaser. My computer just went out for some reason. It's the Trudeau internet. Yeah, they heard us talking about us. We've got a. Now disconnect the feed and then reshare the screen. Good thing we're not live. For some huh? reason. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but yeah, probably would have cut the feed if we were alive. But here we are. Okay. Yeah, 34, 21. Yes, it's oh, Mr. Davis. Ash, why are you doing this? I'm David Menzies, no. Rebel News. Hi. Hi. No, you're not really uh, a part of this. We're- human rights. What about the human rights human of biological rights. women being human injured by this rights. man? As a mother, why would you expose your uh, kids to because a misogyny? that is my partner. That, that is my wife that you are being So he's a lesbian? So it's not a sport. Or it's not, it's not an issue. I'm a registered social worker, sir, and I oh. demand human rights for everybody. Oh, okay. They just... Yeah, what's a biological female? How do you feel about a biological male playing in rugby, man? Thank you! I don't really give a f- Everybody! Really? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what is a crime anymore. Mm. Well, sometimes we all ask ourselves that, right? <laughs> so it's a great video. Everyone needs to go watch it. Eric, we had multiple women crying. We had a 19-year-old girl saying that you can't tell me what a woman is because you're not a doctor the classic line there is something in the water there that is making people go insane in this town you had all these big women coming to this man's defense the woman's hugging him and like coddling him like everything's gonna go be okay they're saying they're being traumatized there's something in the water eric where these people it's not something in the brain is not working when 20 women come out and defend this guy who's a father in a Mr. Beast-esque style move, who's just all of a sudden a woman, and he's playing women's rugby at the age of, like, 35 or something. It's absolutely wild. Yeah. Uh, th- this ha- I, I have to... I, just to keep myself sane, I have to... I have to hope for a mega troll, right? Like, I have to hope that the joke's on them, right? Like, y- you are the butt of the joke. The real women there who are like, I don't give an F, like dropping F-bombs and like, human rights, human rights, beep, boop. And then the guy, like, you know, I hope in two weeks or a month or whatever, we're going to see a guy, like the guy be like, yeah, oh, I just went in there and just, they just let me do whatever I want. I just ran rough shot all over them. They don't care. They're morons. Like, hopefully we see that happen. I still am not fully... Uh, I not I still don't fully remember exactly what happened with the big boob teacher. You said he was caught by Menzies as well, but it just dissolved. Like what happened? Like, hey, I, it was just a sexual fetish, or hey, I was trolling, or hey, I'm really a woman, or like how did that ever end? Right? We don't really I don't I don't I didn't follow it to the end, so maybe we'll we can do sort of a uh you know a follow-up on that. But this is absolutely ridiculous to the point where it's beyond parody, right? Like this is why the Babylon Bee gets fact-checked because it, this is something that should clearly quite obviously be satire, but it's real now. These things were, I always use the perfect example of the black white supremacist in Dave Chappelle show. That was a joke. It was a joke 20 years ago, but now it's real. Larry Elder is a black white supremacist and um, the guy from the proud boys, the Enrique Tario and, um, and all these Mainstream media outlets uh, writing hit pieces about why is uh, the the scourge of Latino white supremacy and working out as white supremacy. It's all just become such a joke, but it makes sense, right? Because 
they've destroyed the foundation. They've destroyed your notion, our notion, our understanding of what is true, man, woman, child, right? Once they get that, everything else falls into place. So now, obviously, a man, a man can go play women's rugby. Which I'm not even sure why women are playing rugby to begin with, but that's a different, <laughs> different conversation. It's all completely laughable. And I guess maybe on the bright side, I might be phasing out of the black pill and into the clown pill, right? Like, <laughs> I, I think that's what might be happening with me. I'm not sure. Can you make your plea to the Fergus Highlanders women's team as to why you should be allowed to play on the Merrick, please? Um, <laughs> you put me, put me on the spot. Absolutely not. I can't. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I don't, you know what? Actually, let me take all of that back and say I don't care. I never cared about men's rugby. I certainly don't care about women's rugby. You guys do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. Eric, you're wrong. Fergus Highlanders rugby in Ontario, Canada. We want to join your team. We're both going to be on the team. We're going to live out our childhood dreams of being superstars in a sport that nobody really cares about in this country or your country. We're going to join the Fergus Highlanders women's team. Fergus Highlanders senior women's team. Please heed our call. You think having this Ash Davis guy is good for your team? We saw the video. You guys lost terribly. If Eric and I join your team, which we're going to, we're going to run up the score. 70 to 5. 86 to 4. 93 to 1. Nobody's even going to touch us, Eric. Having it's never going played to rugby be... a day in our lives. A day in my life. That's right. We're going to run rampant through your entire league. We're going to shut it down. So that's why you need to hire us. Giving you the first chance at signing us. I don't even remember your name. That's how much I care. Fergus Highlanders women's team. Let us join. Or are you transphobes? That's my plea to them, Eric. Don't be a transphobe. Understood.